We're making recycled paper leaf ornaments, so you can decorate your needles with leaves. They're pretty simple to make and are a colorful handmade addition to any gift. We will include a link to a template for some of the leaf shapes we use. There are two ways we'll make recycled paper ornaments. The first is classic paper mache, and the second is paper mache clay. I'll go through the differences of each. Classic paper mache just requires old paper, recycled cardboard, glue, and water, and then your standard drawing, cutting, painting tools. Paper mache ornaments will be a little flatter, a bit messier to make, they'll have a nice surface for painting, and they dry quicker. And then your paper mache clay ornaments. This requires all of the same materials, plus a food processor for blending the paper. It has a little more prep time, but is less messy when making. Paper mache clay ornaments will be more sculptural, very textured, but still easy to paint, and they require a little more drying time. First up, classic paper mache ornaments. You have your standard materials, scissors, glue, pen, paint. We have a leaf template if you would like to use it. First, we cut out our leaves and acorns. Then we cut up our strips of paper. Note, they'll need to be thinner than the way I originally cut them. Half glue and half water in a bowl, and this is how my setup looks. Then we dip and coat the strips, making sure to wipe off most of the excess, and we begin to cover our shape. The curvy bits are going to be the most challenging, but it does not have to be perfect. For the acorn, I used some old foil and tape to give the cap some definition. After they're done, set them on something plastic to dry for about 24 hours. They'll look and sound something like this when done. Next up is paper mache clay. We are still using old paper. In this case, we soak it anywhere from 4 to 12 hours before we blend it up. Make sure to have water in the blender when processing. Then we're going to strain the water out and we'll be left with some pretty dry pulp. It should look and feel something like this. To one cup of paper pulp, I'm adding half a cup of glue. You might need a little more or less depending on the moisture in your pulp. Spend a few minutes mixing it up really, really well and you should get something like this. It's not too sticky from the glue. You can mash it and mold it in your hand. We're going to take those same leaf shapes from our cardboard and begin applying the paper mache clay. Having a cup of water and the handle of a paintbrush or pen or pencil will really help the shaping process. And I ended up using the handle as a rolling pin and smoothing out the texture a lot, which made a big difference. Just like normal clay, using a little water to join pieces is very helpful. You can see me dabbing water on with the paintbrush. Now I am making a little hole for the string to go through. I've broken up some pieces of a takeout chopstick. I'm rolling a piece of clay out in my fingers and then I dab some water where the clay will attach and I basically used the paintbrush to help me mold the clay around the stick and onto the leaf. After I let the ornaments dry for about 24 hours, I popped them in the oven at 170 for an hour and a half, checking on them every so often. When they are completely dry, they will be hard to the touch. You should be able to scrape them and they will sound dry. While your ornaments are drying, you can make this cute tinselly ribbon to use for the string. 
cut up a produce net bag into strips. Pull the strips at each end to create something more string-like. And then braid the three strands together. When the ornaments are dry, give them a white base coat and then paint away. 